Topic 6, Lesson 1, Arrays and Using Expanded Algorithm. Well, so far you've learned that you can use arrays to help you multiply. In this lesson, you're going to be learning how to use an array to help you record multiplication. Our standard is multiply a whole number of up to four digits by one digit whole number and multiply two digit numbers using strategies based on place value and the properties of it operation. And we can always illustrate and explain the calculation by using equations, rectangular arrays, and or area models. Mathematical practices, we're going to be using reason abstractly and quantitatively. We're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. We're going to model with mathematics, use appropriate tools strategically, and look for and express regularity in, in repeated reasoning. Our focus is how can you use models to help you record multiplication. So let's take a look. We have a music store display shelf has CDs stacked in three rows and there are 12 CDs in each row. How many CDs are on the shelf? So if we take a look at this again that we have CD stacked in three rows and there are 12 CDs in each row. How many CDs are on the shelf? Well, we're going to multiply. We're going to do 3 times 12. And we could do the standard algorithm, but let's try something different. What if we went ahead and we split up this number here? And we made it into 10, and we put a 2 over here. We still have this 3 here, so we need to multiply 10 times 3 and 2 times 3. That makes it much easier. So now, when we multiply 10 times 3, that's easy, that's 30. And 2 times 3 is 6. We add these together, and we get 36. Much easier. We also can look at it another way. We can actually build something here. We can actually draw it out. We could actually go, all right, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, and then 10 more down here as well, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then over on this side, again, we're going to have the 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can actually draw it out as well to make help you see it, but we still come up with 30 on this side and 6 on this side. So our answer overall is 36. So whether you did it just a regular algorithm 3 times 12, you can multiply straight out, or if you split it, so it makes it easier to do the problems, or if you can draw it out, make an array, you can easily solve it. Now try some on your own. Good luck.